Hey everyone, it's Lion here. In today's update, I'm going to be building the roads for my new city layout. That's right, I have destroyed my previous layout. If you want to find out more about why I did that, then be sure to check out my previous update where I actually destroyed the layout in a large time lapse as I spoke a lot about that city, why I destroyed it, and what this new city is going to be like. Also, I've got my first ever newspaper made for this city. It's really awesome. It's got the top story, a little tutorial, a secret section, a little Q&A section, and you can even ask me a question on one of my YouTube videos and I could answer it in the newspaper. So make sure to go check that out on my website. There'll be a link in the description to everything I mention in this video. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this video started. First up, let's take a look at the new tables that have been built for this city. They're made using MDF and the hole in the centre of the city is no longer there. Instead, it's been replaced with this new section of the table that slides out, allowing me to access the further areas of my city. Although the tables are exactly the same size, the beach is now on the left as opposed to the right. I did paint the edges of the table in black just to make it a little bit more presentable for my videos as well. In this time lapse you can see how I built one straight section of road. All of the other bits of road are based off of this design and you can see to start up I built the sidewalks including the pin connections at the base and then later on I filled in the large road section which is made of bricks. These sections can then be fitted together using pins. Once all the sections were complete, I added these 3D drains to each base plate. Afterwards, I added the traffic lights where necessary and then also the lamp posts to every base plate as well. I fitted security cameras to my traffic lights, much like you see in real life. I've also placed in my train track crossing in anticipation of the upcoming railway that will go around my city layout. The roads were looking a bit too perfect, so I added in these potholes as a realistic detail. Finally, where I couldn't make the white line for the awkward bit of the slope, I made these custom little stickers to fill in the gap. The curvature of the road was achieved by using these staggered 1x2 bricks, which allow you to sort of bend the base plate just enough to make it look as though it has a nice curve to the road. The corner section of road was a very intricate build since I wanted the white lines to go towards the centre of the base plate so you can see that I made these two L-shaped sections of road that then slot together to achieve that. The next detail I added to break up the roads was these drain hole covers. Now that the roads were complete I could finish up the visible side as I do want to make it look pretty all around the layout. And then next to that, I added in the one section of train track, 
which is ready for the next update. Finally, to finish things off, I added in the vehicles and minifigures, some roadworks, and a bus stop. All right, guys, here it is. This is the finished product with everything road related added into the city. As you can see, I've tried to create a very minimalistic, efficient road plan layout, allowing me to add in as few roads necessary to add in as many other features as I can. So in the very center of the city here, as I've already stated, I don't have a hole in the center. So I'll have all my buildings going around and then a small park area in the very middle, which will be two base plates large. And in there, I'm probably gonna add some kind of public facility such as tennis courts or something like that. Along the back and also the side, there will be more buildings. And then on the very far back left of the city, this is where I'm going to have my Ferris wheel and then a small patch of land and of course the double train tracks. Um, I've always wanted to have double train tracks in a layout. So those two are going to come along here and then eventually join together into one track, curve around and continue under what will soon be a bridge. Of course, this over here is going to be the water area. I'm planning on making a harbour. However, I may add some beach elements as well. You'll notice throughout the city that there are quite a few cracks and irregular edges along the sides of the base plate sections and that's purely because the city isn't finished. They're kind of pulling themselves apart because I haven't got the rest of the base plates in. Once the rest of the buildings and parks and train tracks are in, it'll all squeeze together and there won't be any room for cracks. I'm extremely pleased with how the elevation of the road turned out. I haven't seen many other people do this kind of style, so I'm really pleased to be able to bring you something unique and kind of update you on how all the buildings are gonna come along, along this very large slope here as well. Underneath all this, you'll see that I did have to use many, many bricks to support all of this up. And these are all of the bricks that I do not need. And um, basically I just chucked whatever I didn't want under there, including the monorail stands, because I decided I'm just gonna use purely those scaffold ones as the bases are too large and inconvenient. Let's take a look at some of the details. First of all, yes, I do have skin colored minifigures. I did this purely because not many people do it and I wanted to be a bit different, but also because I think it's just a bit more realistic and um, I've always wanted to do it. So I was like, you know what? This is the city of always wanting to do things. Let's go ahead and do skin colored minifigures. Now you did see in one of my hauls that I bought quite a few heads and minifigures, sort of hand and body pieces, in that colour. So in general, I do actually have quite enough people to populate all the vehicles and sidewalks walking around. However, I will need to buy more in the future to do a couple more projects. I do have a couple more, but those are themed minifigures such as firefighters and stuff like that. So they'll be slowly incorporated in later on. I've got the same lamp post design. Funny enough, when I bought them back for the previous city, I bought all that I needed for this city because I had it planned, so I didn't have to buy any extra parts for those or the traffic lights. Something that I actually got wrong in the previous city was I added traffic lights to my T-junction. You'll notice that both of those don't have them because I basically forgot the simple rule that you give way to the left. So basically all the vehicles going down this main road are kind of the high priority and these cars will wait for these cars to then turn off. I have added in the bus stop, even though I don't have a bus yet, so I am going to have to make a bus. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the nice modern design. It's a design I haven't seen before. And then I've also got the little pole over there. If I get a bit closer, you'll see that I've added on some printed parts and then also some custom stickers to create the timetables and general movie posters. I decided to add a seagull on top, looking down to what will eventually be, obviously, the sea. I'm really pleased with how the train track crossing turned out. It looks very realistic, and um, I may even add power functions to it in the future. I do have one of my train cars here, 
just as a kind of example to show you what it will look like when I do have a finished train in the city. Over here this motorbike has broken down so the guy is kind of looking down upon it in frustration and then further along the road I've got my construction works which was supposed to be finished however the final bit of road planned to be placed in the city was replaced with this billboard which is sitting on top of the pallets. That's actually some staging for my newspaper so if you want to find out more about that be sure to check it out. I kept all of my favourite vehicles for this city so I've either got these six or seven wide ones which in my opinion look realistic. I like the added details of the drain hole covers and the potholes. I think it makes it look very realistic. Back here you can actually see where the train track comes out from the tunnel. That's going to then connect up of course to this section under here. When the city is finished I'm going to have an underground train station over here and you'll be able to actually view the platform from the back. One complication that I had was how I was to slide the tables out and still have this awkward road situation. Because the cut is obviously a straight line but the roads are at an angle you're never going to get a nice clean finish so I had to create a way of moving this section of road off so that I can move the tables. The way I did that was I fitted it to one of my vehicles here so that that can easily be lifted out allowing me to move the table. As you can see. The table can pretty much slide out as far as you want it to go. It will be getting very heavy but you can see the section that is revealed allowing me to stand there and that will give me access to the further areas of the city. It's a really good distance because I can reach a maximum of three base plates. So you've got three base plates there, you've got two and a half over there and then this bit is three base plates but I've also got that access point. So yeah basically everything in this city is 100% reachable. Um, the areas that are not this sliding table are very strong so if I need to I can walk on them. The only thing is with this layout I cannot walk on the roads because obviously they are brick built and they will completely collapse as they're more or less hollow underneath. But that is pretty much everything I have to show off for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me build all of the roads for this new amazing Lego City layout that I'm working on. If you want to find out what I'm going to be doing next month, check out the secret section in my newspaper. And of course, I'll be keeping you up to date on everything I'm doing here on my website. I'd love to hear what you think down in the comments section below. But that is everything I have for today's video. So until next time, thanks for watching. Thank you.